Hello everyone, welcome back. The sun is shining today, it's exciting. Um, so in honor of the sunshine, as I'm pretending I'm in Hawaii, we're making pineapple upside down cake today. I am gonna make it in this frying pan because I don't have a round cake pan at home um, and this saves you on dishes. You can do it in any kind of frying pan. I think this one's like 10 inches, nine or 10 inches. Um, just use whatever you've got. If you do have a cake pan, you can definitely use that. Um, or even one of those like tin foil square pans from the dollar store, that would work too. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. Um, the pineapple upside down cake is gonna have that like caramelly layer of pineapple cake on top and then we'll flip it over at the end. Exciting and delicious. Ooh, the oven just stinked. Um, so definitely preheat your oven to 350. Let that heat up while we do all the other stuff. Awesome, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up your pan just to melt the butter in the bottom. So I'm gonna put a quarter cup of butter in there. Delicious, get that melting. Just on a burner, we just need it to melt a bit. Um, and then we'll put brown sugar on top. And then you're gonna need pineapple. So I unfortunately just have pineapple chunks, but we're in quarantine, so you know what? Use what you got. If you have the rings, it'll look a little bit prettier afterwards, uh, but we're gonna make it work. If you don't have pineapple, you can um, peel an apple and then really thinly slice it and fan it on top. You could also use probably canned pears um, or peaches might work too. Again, slice them before you fan them up or else they'll be really giant. <laughs> These chunks I've got here are relatively thick, but I, I think I'm just gonna leave them. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, let's see how our butter is doing. It's melting away. It seems like a lot of butter, but we're basically making sauce in the bottom of our cake. Let's grab a little spoon. Perfect. Keep going there. Nice. don't need to heat the butter too much like it doesn't need to be sizzling or anything we're just getting it melted it is starting to sizzle but that's <laughs> that's gonna happen all right we're almost there perfect just wash your handles to make sure they're not super hot all right so we've got our melted butter here and now we're gonna get half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, brown sugar is very moist, so you wanna pack it into your measuring cup. So I measure that out here, and then just spread it over the whole bottom of the pan. Just evenly around. It will soak up into the butter, which is what we want. Perfect, just like that easy and now if you have the pretty rings of pineapple you can arrange them nicely on there i'm going to try to nicely arrange these chunks of pineapple as best i can um and that'll probably take me a little bit but i will um see you in a few minutes after i get that done <laughs> lovely so i got my pineapples all arranged in here i tried to Make it in little circles, um, but like I said, whatever you got, make it work. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so the next part is the cake part. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm like in withdrawals from cake because I usually eat it every day and I haven't had it for like three days. <laughs> Craziness. Okay, so we're gonna make a vanilla cake or a rum cake if you've got it. If not, just do butter, sugar, if you don't have vanilla or rum, you could put some other liqueur in there or just do it straight up. Butter and sugar taste good. Um, so I've already started whipping here. You can kind of see, sorry, my extension cord is not long enough. <laughs> um, I've whipped together three quarters of a cup of butter and three quarters of a cup of regular sugar. So it's pretty fluffy right now. If your butter is straight out of the fridge, either let it warm up to room temperature or, um, pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds or so 
and that'll help speed things along. <laughs> awesome, so we whip that up till it's fluffy, like two or three minutes, and then we're gonna slowly add in two eggs, one at a time. So I'll turn it on there. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. If you don't have either, you can try making it by hand. Um, you're just gonna get a workout and one arm will be really strong. <laughs> All right, so once your first egg kind of gets mixed in, you'll put in another egg there. I'm also gonna add in a splash of rum, about a teaspoon. If you want to do vanilla extract, you can do that too. Or like I said, if you don't have either, it's fine without. I'm just in a Hawaiian mood. I want tropical drinks. Lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little scrape. You always want to scrape down your batters or else you get a big chunk of butter at the bottom. And when you bake your cake, it will explode and make a mess, um, which happens all the time to us at the bakery. <laughs> but our ovens are really clean because we need to clean that up. <laughs> All right, so scrape down, let it mix in again. Awesome. So it's nice and confined. It looks fluffy. Now we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. A whole teaspoon of baking soda and one whole teaspoon of baking powder. Ooh, perfect. You can mix this in with your flour, but honestly, I find it easier just to put it in with the butter and stuff so I know I didn't forget it. So we're just gonna quickly mix that in a little bit. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna alternate in flour and buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can also use sour cream, yogurt. If you don't have any of those, you can use one cup of milk with one teaspoon of vinegar. Um, we're going to use a cup of buttermilk because I bought it and it needs, it's going to go bad, so I need to use it up. <laughs> and then two cups of flour. So I'm going to alternate it in. I'll put a little flour, half of my buttermilk, a little more flour, and then half the other half of buttermilk, and then the rest of the flour. And then the batter is done and it goes in the oven. Okay. All right, so we'll get started with that. So two cups of flour and one cup of buttermilk. And I just like to put it on the slow speed and add it in. Let it mix a little bit in there and then start pouring in your buttermilk. You don't want to mix this too much because it will build up gluten and you'll get a tough cake. But you're going to be eating this cake when it's warm, ideally. So it's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> of our buttermilk going in. Perfect. So dump in the rest of your flour. And let it mix. We'll give it a quick scrape just in case there's those butter chunks. Like I said, we don't want any explosions. Set for explosions of flavor. All right, so we'll just pop this guy off. Move him. Lovely, so we'll pull out our pan here. The trick here is you don't wanna kinda of smoosh your pineapples around too much, but it will probably happen a little bit. So just be gentle with them. Okay, scrape this guy. Awesome. So I'm just gonna dollop all over the place. This will help with um, when we spread it that it's not gonna move too much. If your pan is smaller, you might not need all this batter. Um, you can just bake some off into muffin tins or whatever you've got around. If you do have extra batter, just really depends on your pan. We'll try it. We'll try all of this in my pan. It's just guesstimating. <laughs> Awesome, so we'll just spread her around. Like I said, be gentle. We want it to look somewhat pretty when it comes out. Awesome. That 
looks great. So if you notice, there's kind of like a, about three quarters of an inch, half an inch around the edge from where the batter ends. That's good because it will allow it to rise and not explode everywhere. Although, just to protect ourselves from that, I did put a pan in the oven underneath. Um, so I'll bring this over because we'll pop her in. So I put a pan just underneath, just in case it does explode because it is caramel and no one likes cleaning the oven. So we're just popping that guy in. I'm gonna bake him for about 30 minutes. Again, it just depends on your oven, but it's gonna be golden brown, um, kind of spring back on your fingers. And when you put a toothpick in it, it should come out clean and not goopy. So we'll let that bake and I'll see. All right, it's been about 50 minutes. Took a little longer to bake than I thought, um, but you can see it's golden brown. It springs back. Um, if you stab it with a toothpick or a knife, you'll see it comes out clean. There's nothing goopy on there. So that's perfect. I've just let this sit for five minutes. You wanna let it kind of settle a few minutes before we flip it. So hopefully it works, we'll see. Um, before you flip it, you wanna go around the edges with a butter knife or um, an offset spatula if you have one, just to loosen things up a little. So we'll go around there. Looks good, nothing sticking. All right, then you're gonna need a plate or something that's ideally larger than your pan because some of the caramel might spill out and you don't wanna get that on your hands and burn yourself. Uh, I was gonna use a plate, but it's just slightly too small. So I have this uh, pizza pan thing. Um, so I'm gonna use that. So you'll put that on top first, then make sure the oven mitts are on. And then we're gonna flip her over. Whoop. Okay. Give it a tap for good luck. <laughs> oh, ta-da! If you do have any pineapples that stick to your pan, just pop them off with like a spatula and stick them back in. We missed this little part here. There, perfect. <laughs> Awesome. So there is our pineapple upside down cake. It's perfect when it's warm. That's my favorite. You can even put a little ice cream on it if you got it. I know I hit up Village Ice Cream before I went home after our last day. Um, so that would be delicious on there. Or just whipped cream or just eat it as is. Can't go wrong with uh, pineapple upside down cake. Well, if you do make it, our recipe for it is on the website. The link is in my profile again. Um, and I'd love to see pictures. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna make, but something delicious if you have ideas just send them over to me in the direct messages. I would love to make something that you want to learn how to make. Awesome. Well, have a great day. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine today.